Star Wars was a big influence on me because it was it came out in seventy seven. I was born in sixty six, so I was right at the right age for that thing to hit. And it was before all the hype, you know. It was it was the first to kind of the popcorn blockbusters. You had that, and then you had Spielberg films. So you had like Jaws and that. But before then, it was it was still the seventies. You know, it was seventies movies and. And I remember seeing, I don't even remember seeing a commercial. I remember seeing like a picture in the newspaper, like the New York Post or something about the movie. And it was after it was out already. And it was like, this looks pretty cool. Or it's coming out, I forget. Uh, and I saw the picture of like Chewbacca and Han Solo and whatever the headline was, I was intrigued. And I went to see it. And then it was just like, it just pinned my ears back just looking at that thing. And I was just mouth agape. And just like everybody else who grew up in that period and didn't know about it. In this case, since there's real things on the set, we have real cameras and real people. The sets are bigger than they were on Jungle Book, but it's essentially the same formula. And now instead of having a green screen that you have to move around in light, which took forever, and that was really the frustration that led to these innovations, which was how could we do that without green screens next time? And so that led to do you have a green, a green stage, you have pre-lit green areas that you could expose and and then it turned into these video walls where you could have green just behind the actor and an interactive light which we used on Jungle Book also for shadows and things on the characters which we were inspired by like gravity where they had all those video panels so it, it's like it, we took all the technology that I've been messing around with from all those other projects and applying it to a very specific application that would work for this